you're gonna see this get started and here we go just going to next allow and we're gonna see this it detected the tv already so it tells me my tv is 5175 that's my tv not yours guys so make sure you pick the right one we're gonna add this on it's gonna tell you to know your location go ahead and do that and then it's gonna connect to your tv so it is slightly faster to do it this way just because you have to type these things up it's easier technically than doing it with your remote control where you have to select everything with your remote control right now your tv should see something like so and right here this screen so right now it's going to tell us our pin so that's our pin and we just have to put that in here once you put in your pin it's just going to connect up and then you just have to set this up right here so just set it up with whatever wi-fi you guys want we're gonna go ahead and just check on the main one putting the password for that and just allow it's gonna process on your tv you should see something like so but the whole setup's taking place right here from there you should see something like so you do have to press agree so we're gonna agree to all then press ok it's gonna go to the next screen so what it's doing right now it's uh setting up our screen so it's being registered into our samsung account so if you, even if you didn't have a samsung account right now you created one if you had a samsung account then this would be a little bit faster for you and location is fine for me so that's my home living room perfect device i can set this up as a favorite doesn't really matter right there on my tv i'm gonna see this and then just go into next on the bottom, go into next again. And then from here, you're gonna see done. So at this point in time, it's all set up. What we have to do in order for this to work, just press on your TV, and then you're gonna see this once it loads up. So your control. So right now you could control your TV. Just has to refresh a little bit, so just let it do its thing. But you could control your TV from your phone at this point or just use the remote control. We're gonna go back to the remote control actually. Now, if there's any problem and it's being delayed a bit too much, don't worry about it. You can set up via remote control. However, it's already set up. So just press on set up via remote and then just go into yes. And right here, it's gonna tell you what's plugged in and what's not. So at this point in time, it's good to plug in your antenna if you have one, any HDMIs, just in case you have your Xbox, PlayStation, or an Apple TV or anything like that. Plug it in now, you can go into next. We're not gonna plug anything in at this point in time. We're just gonna skip that over because for everybody it's gonna be different. Right now it's gonna look for a Wi-Fi signal and it will take us throughout this whole thing. However, it's already connected as you guys can see and we can select any other Wi-Fi networks if we wanted to. So we're just gonna want and just press the middle button and it's just gonna go throughout. Again, the setup is pretty much done. You guys did it. The main setup was just hooking this up to your internet anyways um then we got just started so we're gonna go on and do the whole thing so from here you should see your name up there plus your email you can just say stay signed in now on your remote every time we're selecting something just press the middle just do a click here and that will take you to the next page and so on it's gonna ask you to set up a pin so go ahead and set one up once you set up your pin just press on ok it can be as easy as you want it can be all zeros all ones I would do something a little bit more difficult, but really, it's really up to you. Then you're gonna see this, agree to all. Just tap down, down here below. Click on the middle to select okay. So for your remote control, these are it. So you're gonna be pressing here and here to get throughout this whole thing. And then just be pressing the middle just to select something and do that confirm click. So right now we're gonna do a confirm click here. We're gonna click on register and then it's gonna check for updates. This is very, very important. So we're gonna do that right now and we're gonna download this. Right now, at this point in time, just wait for it. So right now your TV, right after the update will restart it, you might have seen a screen, some of you, others might not, it might take you straight here. But right now you can go on and use your TV. You can select any apps, Netflix or anything like that to watch and just download anything else that you're missing or might be missing as well and you would do that exactly from the app store so if you go here you can select this apps and just download anything from here so you got gaming for example and you got a bunch of other things down here below but anyways that would be it for this video if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write them down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you